No flying can be a headache, especially during the holidays. Airport safety officials say preventing stress starts with leaving certain items at home. Five News reporter Ian Taylor shows us some of the wild things stopped at the XNA security gate. The 311 rule one quart size bag for all of your liquids, gels, pastes, and aerosols, all of them 3.4 ounces or less for each person. Seems straightforward enough, but not so fast. The number one excuse we hear when we find a prohibited item is, I forgot it was in my bag or I didn't put it there. TSA spokesperson Patricia Mancha says while oversized liquids are commonly left behind, some passengers try to bring other things that can raise eyebrows. I'm going to have to leave that snow globe or that cast iron skillet that has my grandmother's seasoning because it's been passed down. I mean, we've had all kinds of items that have been abandoned. The leading cause of so many items being abandoned at security isn't from TSA confiscation. Instead, because they came to the airport with limited time to spare, and that's usually the issue. If you get here early, you'll have time to say, step out of line, check your bag, and then just go on on your trip. When you leave an item behind, you can't return to pick it up. TSA suggests shipping things ahead of your trip, leaving items with someone who took you to the airport, or put them in your checked bag. Just about anything you can imagine can travel in your checked luggage. The only exception are grenades, anything shaped like an explosive or explosive components. If you find yourself having to leave something behind, you might be wondering what happens to it. Well, Mancha says all items are sold and the money is given back to airports. So if you want to avoid that, she suggests leaving the frying pans, baseball bats, tools, and other prohibited items out of your carry-on. At XNA, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News.